After applying the properties, we'll go to the Boundary tab, the next tab that is the Boundary tab. Under the Boundary tab, we'll define the supports. Supports being fixed or pinned can be done by restraining either the translations or the rotations. By checking on these boxes, I am restraining those translations, restraining in X, Y and Z direction. Now I'll have in this workshop pinned type of support condition. So I will keep the Rx, Ry, Rz rotations unchecked. Now all I have to do in Midas Gen always in any command is select the nodes or element and click on apply. So I have provided the parameter for my support condition. I'll go to the front view for easily selecting all my nodes in the bottommost part. I'll select all of these nodes. Note that all the nodes in that plane have got selected and then I click on apply. So in this way I've got my support conditions applied to the nodes. Next I will apply some beam and releases to the intermediate beams created. So I'll go to the top view. I'll use this beam and release tool I've, I mean for selection I've gone to the top view for easy selection. So I'll go to the beam and release tool. Here I have predefined options of pinned pinned, pin fix, fixed pinned and fixed fixed condition depending on the start and end of the particular or depending on the local axis of the element. So I'm going to have pin pin condition. I can have partial releases as well by changing these values 0 to 100% as in 0 to 1. Now pin pin condition will release my moments for the major and minor axis. So all I have to do is select all my intermediate beams. This is how I can select or I can directly go to the section property of intermediate beam, double click and all my intermediate beams have got selected and then I click on apply. So as you can see over here all the intermediate beams have got applied the beam end release. Now here uh, I have to delete the beam end release. I do not want it for these intermediate beams so I can just simply select. This is how you can just do the editing. So I've checked this option as delete right over here in the same command and clicked on apply. So if I want to see now uh, what all beam end releases I have applied, I can simply go in the works tree and right over here the beam end releases are there. I right click and say display. So here I can see all the beam end releases for the right intermediate beams have been provided successfully. I'll go back to the works tree and say on display. Next, I can provide the panel zone effect that is going over here. The software will automatically calculate the offset and click on OK. This is all about the boundary conditions that we are going to be applying onto our model. Let me explain you about some other boundary conditions applicable in Midas Gen like the spring supports. When it comes to rough foundations and piles, pile foundations at that time we need to have soil structure interaction. The soil structure interaction in case of rafts can be taken care by the surface spring supports. Under the surface spring supports generally you can apply the subgrade modulus or subgrade reaction the K values to the plate elements and the software, generally the softwares calculate the spring stiffnesses by multiplying with the area of the plates. That uh, is then further, the spring stiffnesses are further applied to the nodes of the plate elements. Midas Gen has got distributed spring supports that takes into consideration the actual deflection deformation of the plates or frames element, frame elements which we choose to apply on. So here I'm going to be using uh, 
for any distributed uh, for any rock foundation I'm going to be using the distributed springs and that can also have the linear compression only tension only type of spring property next is about the pile springs the pile spring supports are very very useful type of spring supports options in my gen here we can just provide the parameters of the soil condition select our piles and then we can click on apply and the software will automatically calculate the spring stiffness the horizontal multilinear spring stiffness and the linear vertical spring stiffness we can also provide elastic and rigid link supports and even general links are available like said earlier the diaphragm disconnect option is available to disconnect any nodes from the rigid floor diaphragm so this was about the boundary conditions